Hello! It's the 14th of May 2018. I'm in Catania on the island of Sicily. And I'm about to catch a vintage train to go up a volcano. I've come to Borgo Station in Catania, the starting point of a unique little railway. This is the Ferrovia Circometnea, the Round Etna Railway. Now you may have heard of Etna, it's one of the most active volcanoes in the world, and by far the biggest in Europe, unless you count the Canary Islands, which are in Africa. It's currently 3,329 metres high, although to quote Wikipedia, this varies, which gives you some idea of just how frequent the eruptions are. So what on earth is a narrow-gauge railway doing going up a volcano? Well, although the Circometnea's fetchingly retro stations and trains might give it the look and feel of a heritage line, this is a working railway which links the surrounding villages and brings commuters and school kids into Catania. It's been doing so for more than 100 years. Construction began on the line in 1889 and it was opened in 1895. This diesel rail car isn't quite as old as that, but it dates back to the early 1970s, so it's pushing 50 years old. Leaving the suburbs of Catania behind, it's not long before you're in the lava fields, surrounded by volcanic rock, and there in the distance is the mountain that's responsible for all of it. In places, it's an almost lunar landscape, with very few plants at all. But you'll also see areas that are absolutely covered in pistachio trees, this region is renowned throughout Italy for the quality and intense flavour of its pistachios, and it seems that the local industry relies on the railway to transport produce, as well as bringing pistachio-loving tourists to the town of Bronte for its annual pistachio festival. If vintage machinery is more your thing, then check out the control room at Borgo, or this train indicator at Bronte, which tells you that a train is arriving from Riposto on platform 2. Very useful if you want to know where your train has come from. A little further down the line is the town of Randazzo, which is where a lot of trains terminate. We're about three quarters of the way around Etna here and this is the closest station to the summit, so it's a good place to get off if you want to go hiking. And if, like me, you didn't give yourself enough time to climb all the way up Etna, it's still well worth getting out here and doing a bit of exploring. It's not a fast journey. It takes over two hours to make the 70 kilometer trip to Randazzo. But who cares when on one side you've got the towering peak of Etna, and on the other, a beautiful view down the slope and across the valley to the mountains beyond. The Circometnea is, very gradually, modernizing. These new trains have arrived in the last few years, and it has to be said, they are much more comfortable to ride in. But while these old diesel rail cars might be looking forward to their retirement, I hope they keep going for a little while yet. Because let's face it, there are very few places in the world where they combine vintage transport and volcanoes quite like they do here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please do hit that like button and let me know in the comments. Stay subscribed to the channel for more videos about trekking, travel and transport, and I will see you soon.